Fantastic morning. So I just got done meditating for about 20, 30 minutes. Really started out with, it's a fantastic day. And I threw in a little bit of sunscreen. It's a brand that doesn't have any of the, the, lot of the, the stuff that can actually harm you. It's real natural. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create um, the energy drink um, for, for training. I'm gonna be training here actually in the, in the where I'm living right here. Um, because later on I'll be doing a yoga class. So let's go ahead and set this up and let's uh, hop in the kitchen. Okay, what we have here is an apple, which doesn't need to really be in the recipe. I just grabbed it because I'm in the mood for an apple because I haven't had breakfast yet. And it'll give me a little bit more more uh, meat to the, to the, the uh, what do you call it, my energy drink. I mean, it's not an energy drink, it's a workout drink that you can have while you're training. A lemon and the ginger. And no, we're not gonna put all of this ginger into it. A couple of things you may notice in the background before I get into the recipe, a bottle of water. Don't do this, but I'm in Brazil right now and my my water filter, which is part of it, um, is burnt out. So what I've done is I've ordered a new one, it'll be shipped to me and then this will be gone. You don't want to have water in plastic, that's not the idea. You see behind me the garbanzos, um, I've been soaking them overnight, you have to change the water a lot because the idea is to sprout them and then there's the other video I did on how to make a protein smoothie using garbanzos. Okay, so what we have here is, well, we have, obviously it's apple, and I cut up the ginger a little bit so that it blends a little bit better. You can see I cut it up into little pieces. And then we have the lemon right here. So you can see that it's the entire piece of lemon. I'll take that little piece of, if you can see it there, that little piece of, um, what do you call it, the peel off. And then we're just gonna put it all into the into the blender. Boom. Boom. And if you want to, you would pour your distilled water if you have some, which I don't at this moment, so we'll use this. The other reason why we need to really, really protect our environment. I'm using this, which I highly recommend. I, I did a lot of research. Plastic, even if it's quote BPA free, is not necessarily that good for you. Go do the research yourself. Stainless steel can a lot of times not be that good for you. Glass, as long as you can keep it safe, which this does a pretty good job and obviously use common sense. If you put the, the cover on, um, don't swing it around by this, but I've been able to keep this for a good amount of time and glass definitely keeps the water the cleanest in terms of things that are gonna be beneficial for your health, okay? So, um, you know, estimate how much water is going to go into it, pour it in. <laughs> there you have it. I'm going to now throw my shirt on, grab a banana, a banana is, is, is high in carbohydrates, is high in potassium. I'm not that hungry. I was having, I, I, I was eating pretty much until late. So I'm not saying don't have a breakfast. However, I'm not really that hungry. And I, I wanna, I'm excited to go train. And then about 4.30, I mean, obviously I have a lot of other things too business wise, but then around 4.30, there's a yoga class on the beach that I'm really excited to go to. So that, that way I have the time to progress in different projects and things like that as well as get, get some exercise in in the morning. One thing that did come to mind is in terms of the flavor. With the apple, I like it. Not everyone's gonna like it. The, the tastiest flavor was, was when I did the same thing, no apple, but then I added a little bit of stevia. However, I ran out of stevia. I think the, the cook where I was living, uh, in the other country where I was living, I think they were putting it in all of the, the juices and things like that, which was not my intention, but we, we ran out of it. And then when we looked for it, what we found was a stevia mix with other things. If you're going to use stevia, read the ingredients and we return that. Don't get anything mixed with anything else. Just get pure stevia. I, I'm not going with the stevia. I've gotten a lot used to things that aren't that sweet. However, if you're going for the taste, I would go for the same with just a bit of stevia in it. Mwah, wonderful. Fantastic day, support the cause. Natural, holistic, energy-based solutions to all of life's issues. 
maximizing your life in a natural, holistic way, the way it's supposed to be. So thumbs up, ding the bell, share the video, comment below. Fantastic day.